Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we're still looking at Jorge and his scientific experiment. So let's check this out. It says Jorge is performing an experiment to determine how the wavelength of light affects plant growth. He exposes one group of plants to red light, another to blue light, another to white light, and another group to no light for 12 hours a day over the course of three months, monitoring and recording the growth of each plant. What is the independent variable in this experiment. What is the independent variable in this experiment? So there's not a lot of vocabulary that you have to have memorized for the science GED test, but I highly suggest you know all the vocabulary related to the scientific method. So among uh, that uh, set of information is this idea of an independent variable. So basically when scientists make um, hypotheses, educated guesses about the way things work, they generally try to uh, narrow things down to just talking about the relationship between two variables, an independent and a dependent variable. And the idea here is that the independent variable is bas basically the effector. It affects uh, the outcome um, or the behavior of the dependent variable. So we're looking at the interplay of two different things. Okay, so come take a look at this first sentence here. Do you see how it said Jorge is performing an experiment to determine how the wavelength of light affects plant growth? There, those two are my independent and dependent variables, wavelength of light and plant growth. Now, how can you tell one from the other? Well, the independent variable, the one we're looking for here, what is the independent variable? is the controller. It's the thing affecting the other. It, it like controls the outcome of the experiment. Some teachers teach this as it's the thing that the scientist manipulates in order to try to make change. Um, but basically, we are thinking that the wavelength of light is affecting plant growth. So how much a plant grows is controlled by what wavelength it's exposed to. Therefore, the wavelength of light is the controller. It's doing the affecting. So the wavelength of light is the independent variable. Now, this is definitely a tricky concept that most students need uh, to practice a few times before they're going to be able to do it on the GED. So I suggest you check out my other videos on this, and then you go try it in a practice problem. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it, oh, or science topic for that matter, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.